Hello and welcome to today's video. Today we are here for an Astro 2005 Chase for the Cup Career Mode episode number 25. And I'm excited to jump into this. It's been a little bit since I've actually played this game. Of course, if you're watching on YouTube, you're watching on X. It's only been a week since I put out a video of this game. But I haven't played this game in quite a while. Um, so I'm excited to jump in and uh, see what's going on. Because again, typically when I do videos... Um, you know, it's a little bit of a recording session, right? So everything that I did last few weeks is here. But it's been, you know, three weeks probably since I actually played this game. Um, so we are looking at... What, what is our plan? Um, so today, I believe, we're going to do our cup debut. I thought that was the last video, to be fair. But I guess that must have been... Uh, the Bush Series race? Okay. Um, that's that's very weird. Hold up. <laughs> what? I I swear the last video was the Daytona 500. Um. <clears throat> Let's see. It's going to respond to a comment on that video. Somebody said this video helps me sleep, so I said glad to help. Um, all right, let's see. NASCAR 2005. Is it genuinely? Yeah, that was Daytona 500. What happened? Did it not save? I'm confused. I'm very confused. It, it had to have not saved. Because we should be here. Well, I guess we're doing the 2500 again. Um, that's interesting. I don't understand it. I really don't. Um, okay, well. One word described. That was funny though. I opened up the YouTube studio to look at the video and uh, there was the comment. Somebody says this video helped me sleep on the versus challenge, so. Now they're being sarcastic, so. It's a good way of saying the video was boring to them, so, you know, why not? Why not respond in the, oh my god, I'm falling back for a second. So only give me a second, we'll catch back up here. You know, I mean, I'm, I'm good with somebody saying that, I don't really care, I think it's funny. I take a lot of the comments really as comedy, because... In my mind, commenting negative doesn't do anything, right? Like, that's why if I don't like something online, I'm not just going to comment about it in a negative manner. That that just doesn't, for me, do anything. And I feel like for the people that post something, it doesn't do anything for them. So, uh, you know, that's, that's why... Oh, my God. Oh. That was not what I wanted. You know, getting a negative comment that says, oh, this video essentially was boring. Um, I'm, I'm good with it. I think, it's, again, I think it's hilarious. Uh, that you even felt the need to comment. That. I guess I'm just going to pit. There's no point in not pitting. Uh, damaged car. Completely cooked. Um, yeah, no, again, I, I find it hilarious. I really do, just because... <laughs> I, I don't even know how to explain it. I just think people commenting negative things is pointless, so... Um, there was, like, some of the shorts... Uh, 
There was one over GTA where I got spun by somebody that was in the lead, uh, or I was passing for the lead. And we were racing. I slightly bumped them. And then just the direction I was kind of going, I kind of hit them again. Uh, and it was all accidental. Like, I'm not trying to wreck for the lead. It's not how I race. But, but yeah, I, I went up and, you know, slightly bumped the guy. And he decides to just completely take me out the next corner. I go to pass it. So, short was titled, this dude didn't even try to pass. Dude, this dude didn't want to race. And all the comments were saying how I was bad and victim mentality or whatever the fuck. Um, just getting hilarious because I don't give a fuck. Wow, I'm really falling back. I'm, I'm completely cooked this time. Wow. Crashing the way I did just ended this race from being competitive. Um, but no, I just... I. I found that funny. And again, I always find comments funny. I don't typically take it seriously. So, that that's my view on it. I don't take it seriously. I don't take the, uh, the negativity seriously. I don't take any of it seriously. Because um, that kind of just comes with making content on the internet. And I've known that because I've made content on the internet since 2012. So, you know, I've, I've known that pretty much since I was 13. That's when I started doing YouTube. So, whatever. We're good with it. Um, I don't think I'm really catching this dude, to be fair. I just, I don't think I'm catching anyone. Kind of annoyed that Daytona 500 didn't save whatever happened last time. Uh, it's a bit frustrating, for sure, to not have that. So I guess while we're here, you know, we're running Cup now. Obviously, this is going to be our first Cup result. Uh, what is the goal? Obviously, we want to win the championship. It's kind of our goal in all series. Or now two series, of course. Yeah. There was four series. Our goal was to win championship every series. Modifieds did that first time out. Trucks, we did that first time out. So, going forward, right, we've got to try to win Cup Championship, win a Bush Championship. That's the goal. Now, this season, heavily focused on the Bush Series in a good car that should be or a better car than we were last season and we're doing every single race last season we joined in way too late to even make a run at the championship trucks we joined in with enough time that if I killed it which I did I could go for the championship because I only missed like three or four races so I wasn't too far out of contention Bush series I missed like 10 so I was kind of out of it um so yeah, Bush is the, the main goal. Cup, I feel like we just don't have the car. Um, if we can make the top 10, that would be ideal, because then we're guaranteed going to finish top 10 no matter what. You know, if we can make the chase, no matter what happens those last 10 races, we get a top 10 points finish. That's the goal. I think it's doable with short tracks and road courses being on the schedule. We just got to get solid finishes at the, you know, mile and a half. So that's going to be a challenge because, again, this is NASCAR schedule in 2004. There was a lot of mile and a half on the schedule compared to short tracks. Now, give it a few more years, and it gets even more when you take out uh, Rockingham. But... Uh, it's definitely one of those things that there are tracks that we can win smaller, shorter tracks. And I think with that in mind, we can make something happen. Right? Again, I don't 
I'm not going to enter and say we can't win the championship because I think we have an outside shot. But I don't think it's likely. Right? I think it's going to take a lot of luck, a lot of good results. And tracks like Daytona to start off, having to do Daytona twice, Talladega twice, not going to help. I've just, I've never been good at those tracks on this game. Never have. Haven't been able to play them. Don't know why. I just have not done good at super speedways in NASCAR 2005. It's been that way since I was probably six, seven, eight, whenever I started playing this game. Like, it's just not been the type of track I've been good at. I, I, yeah, I don't know. I kind of wonder how old was I when I started playing this game. Oh, yeah, don't spin it. Don't spin it. Don't spin it. That's a wall. Yeah, how old was I when I played this game? But I didn't get it when it first came out. I got it used at GameStop. It's got the little use sticker on the front of the box. But how old would I have been? Probably, I had, I I'd probably guess like seven. I probably got it like 2006 or seven. Yeah, it had to be 2006 that I would have got the game. Because I got my GameCube from my brother. This is his GameCube. And I got it from him because he bought a Wii. So 2006 he got a Wii. So I got the GameCube when he got it. So, it probably would have been 2006. I probably would have been seven. So, I'm going to go one more lap. Get five points for leading a lap. Because I don't know if I led at the line. The issue is... Nobody is a lap down. I should have to go a little bit more because I, I said halfway and feel about lap seven. So I'd imagine I could probably go 12 or 13. Unless I just fucking lose it here. Oh, no, spin it out. We've already lost so much time. Uh, I'm going to go right side tires. Don't repair the damage. That will hopefully give me a shorter pit stop. Right side, right side only. And hopefully that puts me in a spot that I can be maybe not last. Merge on the track immediately. Merge on the track immediately. Come on. There we go. There we go. That's what we needed. Didn't really want the caution, but... They all slowed up because I pulled onto the track. I merge when you're supposed to. All right. Come on, Joe Nemechek. Let's go. It's crazy that there's a few drivers in this field that we race against in this game that we can race against in our other series. Uh, the NASCAR Heat 5 series. I think you got Joe Nemechek in Xfinity, and then you got like 
I believe Matt Kenseth is in that, Jimmy Johnson, Kevin Harvick. You can race Kyle Bush and Bush series in this, so there's a few drivers, not that many, but I think that current day NASCAR twenty twenty four. I believe there's no drivers in this field that are like full time. Jimmy Johnson does a few part time races. He's the only one I think in this field that currently is still racing. After Kevin Harvick retired, I'm pretty sure that's the roster's all retired, which is crazy to think. Because I mean, I've been playing this game all the time. All right, so Matt Kenseth is not a fan of me. If I can get out of here with like a top top 20 finish, I will be happy. I think it's going to be very, very difficult. But... Casey King got us. There's nothing I could do. I'm just sliding. Oh my god. This car is destroyed. These tires are destroyed. Ah, oh, God, I went to 24th when the caution, before the caution came out. That's frustrating. There's nothing I could do. It's over. This is a race, right? No? We got one lap. Oh, we're 19th. Okay. Come on. All right. Again, if we can finish 20th, I'll be happy. This thing has no grip, and we're going to block now. Scott Wimmer. Scott Wimmer, we made contact. Scott Wimmer. Oh my god, Ricky Craven, I'm sorry. Oh, you're fucking kidding. That's so frustrating. Oh. I just lost grip at the very last second and spun. Oh, that's the worst. We would have been in such a better spot. Season wise, points wise, everything. If I didn't lose grip there, I would have finished about 25th. Who wants to fight me? Are we going to be Matt Kansas? Oh, it was Mark Martin wants to fight. Lovely. I've made Mark Martin mad. Fantastic. <sighs> Either way, thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys in the next one.